<laughs> hey guys, and thanks for coming back to my channel and checking it out. Today I'm going to be messing with, you guessed it, markers. Today's going to be a fun one because I'm going to actually do one of my own characters from this book that I made last year or the year before. Um, it was a while back. I'm going to draw the main character, which is her, and her name is Evelyn Hunt. During the drawing, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her and maybe give away some of the plot points while I'm at it. But if you watch the whole video at the end, I might even show you how to read some online for free. But you'll have to watch the entire thing for that, and I'll know if you don't. <laughs> Anyways, it started with the drawing. drawn this character at a Denver Comic Con a few years ago. At that point she neither had a name or a story. I was getting kind of bummed out seeing so many artists try and sell all the old tired superhero posters and other copywritten material. I mean sure that sells, but it didn't give me very much satisfaction. I wanted to try and sell a book that was truly mine. More than 10 years ago I had made a comic called Jack Vane that had story issues from day one pretty much. With this in mind, I decided to stick with the pirate theme, but create some new characters. This idea combined with my sketches is how Under the Black Flag came into being. The story starts out in the early 1700s with our main character, Evelyn Hunt, or Eve for short. She is in her mid-twenties and already well known amongst thieves and cutthroats. Although she associates with pirates, she thinks of herself more as an adventurer and doesn't much like engaging in criminal activity unless she is provoked. Much of her success comes from her high intelligence, but a fair amount of luck also comes into play. Not much is known about her past, as she is constantly lying about it to new people she meets, and gossip is often spread as a result. In the first issue of Under the Black Flag, Eve is already searching for a friend that was kidnapped by cutthroats. She enlists the help of her crewmate Guy, a Haitian that has always been loyal to her. Eve and Guy set sail on the pirate ship Ghost. It's a small two-masted sloop that Eve borrowed from the stolen armada of Captain James Dark, a ruthless pirate much further north. Her small crew are those loyal to her while she rows through the ranks of the pirate scoundrels. The ship is packed with a few extra guns just in case, but still she prefers stealth over a fight. Able to glide over shallows and small enough to wade in the bays, the ship hides like a ghost. In a dark tavern down by the port, Eve is able to locate some leads on the thieves, with a lot of persistence and a little bit of gold. Their intel leads them to an island where a witch was said to live. She dismisses this as superstitious nonsense and the pair are off on their journey. In three days' time, the crew arrives on the island, and being ever pragmatic, Eve sends two men to row around the island while her and Guy take a walk deeper through the interior. After a short distance, the pair are surprised to find a rather well-groomed trail and a very intense decoration made from many bones. They quickly realize that they might be in a dangerous place as they walk past skulls on pikes and skeleton sculptures holding lanterns. As they continue on, the forest gets darker and more overgrown. Soon enough, they come to a cabin where almost no natural light can be seen, even though it's the middle of the day. Upon entering the cabin, the pair start to feel faint and their vision blurs to darkness. So that's it. That's the synopsis for the first issue, and it's much better reading it with the illustrations, I assure you. But I did promise how to do that. So in the description to this video, I'm going to link my Patreon account, and there you'll be able to go for free, find the first issue of this available. 
If you're at all curious what happens to Eve and her cohorts through this adventure, then I would consider signing up to be a patron on my Patreon account. You can sign up for as little as $5 a month, which is basically nothing, and you'll uh, have access to any new sketches and story bits that I come across while I currently work on the second book to this series, as well as other uh, art you receive in the mail to every month. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and uh, make sure and hit that subscribe button and like it and all that stuff. We'll see you guys later.